guys, this is Stephanie from Milkshed, and I'm here with my latest Fiberista package. We can't call it a Fiberista Club box anymore because it's not in a box, but that's one of the things that I'm going to talk about. Um, also, I just, I'm in my old camera setup because I just plain forgot to charge my new camera. I wasn't aggressively tracking the um, delivery of this package, and I forgot about it. So this doesn't work too well for tutorials, but for something like this, just an unboxing video, I think it will be okay. Um, so let's start from the beginning. The way Fiberista Club works, it's a monthly subscription box. You can pick uh, yarn or knitting or spinning. Um, I have been looking at the spinning boxes and they look amazing. And I'm thinking that maybe I need to try it out <laughs> before long. You can pick the weight of your yarn, which is lace to DK, or like a worsted to a bulky. You can pick uh, neutral, what is it? Neutrals, cool, warm colors, or you can say all colors. You can do uh, muted or vibrant colors or all hues. So before this month, my selections were lace to DK, all colors, all hues, and of course knitting. And then I was reading the uh, threads on Ravelry and I saw that some people were making different color selections every month. And I didn't even realize that you could do something like that. It just didn't even cross my mind. So what they were doing is they were waiting for the mood boards to come out, which they release like inspiration boards. Um, there have been like three. I think this month there were actually six different boards. And then people were looking at those and based on the boards, they were changing their color selections. Didn't even cross my mind. I didn't know we had that kind of flexibility. So I decided to do that this month. So based on the boards, I changed my selection from... I should have printed out this <laughs> confirmation. I changed, I know I changed my selection from all colors to just neutrals. Um, the first month I got like a wild orchid, which I guess would be a warm. The second month I got one teal and one purple. So one cool and one warm. Um, actually, I'm working on that right now. This is my February yarn. It is the, I have the tag here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. It's the Spellbound Fiber lace um willow mist i think is the color and i'm working on a lace pattern that's like right here i love it it's going really really well so that's the first project that i've done from vibrista club so um february got one warm one cool i guess is what it would be and then last month you guys know i got that blood orange color which i was not too excited about and then i've really come around on it i decided to keep it i'm excited i caked up one of them for a project coming up hopefully soon so I've come around on that so this time I did just neutrals and then I honestly don't remember if I did vibrant or muted if I got like that detail on it I did stay laced to DK so I didn't realize that you could like tweak things every month and that they would deal with that many people changing their preferences that frequently I thought it was like one and you're done um so I'm kind of excited about that. So I've always seen the mood boards, but I haven't really paid attention to them that much. But knowing that there's this like window between when the mood boards comes out and when the, they close the period of making changes before you get your yarn ships, that's what I wanted to say. Um, I might start doing that. I'm not really sure. So that's exciting. Also, you'll notice that obviously it's not in the box with the fun labels and the little sticker anymore. So we've talked about shipping so much and I have said that I have not had any shipping problems whatsoever. I'm in a very rural area and I'm in Wyoming and I've never had a problem. But I know that people were not getting like tracking updates like they wanted and some of the boxes were getting crushed and some things were getting lost in shipping and it seemed like sending it in these regular mailers was a way to hopefully um, make the whole shipping process much easier. And then also, let me see, there we go. Um, they moved to just like plain labels instead before they had these like really cool like mirrored finished silver labels and they're just doing regular ones so this is not a big deal you know it doesn't look as like fun and exciting and honestly I was reusing those boxes because they were really nice um definitely not a problem though so I'm trying to think if there have been any other changes that I wanted to talk about this month the shipping's different I have changed my color preferences and I might be changing them monthly from here out I'm not really sure and then I think that's all for now so let's just open it up
Okay, guys, I thought of one other thing that I wanted to mention, and that is that previously I was paying for Fiberista Club month to month. I think the price month to month is $49.95, and then you're like $5 or so shipping charge. And I've been so pleased with it and genuinely happy with it that I decided when I was able, um, which was this month, I was going to prepay for six months, and that gets you a pretty significant discount. So I am uh, locked in for at least another six months and hopefully I continue to love it. But I have been genuinely happy with it. Again, this is all like out of my own pocket. So it's just my experience. I like it enough to commit to six more months. So let's, I'm like so afraid that I'm going to cut what's in here. So let's like shake it all to the bottom. So there's no way. And then I'm not gonna, I have my like little scissors just for clipping threads. I'm going to go all the way and use uh, an official pair of scissors so I'm not messing with this for forever. So let's open it up. There's like a bag in here but I think it's see-through so I'm trying to grab What's in here without without seeing the yarn yet? So, okay, Fiberista Club proudly presents Chromatique or Chroma yeah Chromatique Color in Motion April twenty fifteen. Here we go. That's the card. So that's telling me we're gonna get a whole lot of colors in here. So color is powerful and set the stage for your finished projects. This month is sure to feed your creative spirit and inspire your needles and hooks. Again, I'm not going to read it word for word. Chromatique yarn specializes in the masterful representation of every imaginable color of the spectrum as possible, hand dyeing full skeins in their workshops with impressive results. Ooh, we had a really difficult time deciding on exactly which colors to select for this month's boxes. So in order to give you the most powerful experience, we settled on the amazing gradient kits. Yeah. So a little sidebar. Um, in one of the threads on the Ravelry in the Fiberista Club, like Clubhouse, ages ago, Hunter said, like, if you guys come across a really great company, suggest it to us. So um, I was going to suggest a company, I'll put the link below, that does these like gradient kits that are just so beautiful. And selfishly, I just want to own one. I could buy it for myself, but I was going to suggest that to them. So I'm super excited about the idea of a gradient. So each gradient kit is beautiful, unique, and exquisite in its color representation. Nine represented colors in each kit. There's a wonderful opportunity to create a stunning accessory for your wardrobe. Okay, so one of two yarn bases, 405 uh, yards of merino wool and a single ply worsted. Fun. Um, I'm not getting that though. <laughs> or 550 yards of superwash merino and a single ply fingering weight. Boom. I, okay, gradients, love. Fingering weight, love. 550 yards is a good amount, love. Um, and I am just such a sucker for single ply, especially in fingering. So awesome. Also included in each box is an exclusive knitting needle gauge, which can be used to identify your needles or check the measurements of your latest gauge swatch. This is awesome. So I have my knitting stuff right here. Let me give me, I'm gonna, this is like not Fiberista Club related, but I have the cutest little, this is not to say I don't like the ones that's here. I'm very excited about it, but I have this cutest little needle gauge thing. I got it on Etsy. Um, and my primary needles, which are the Knit Picks interchangeable set, which are these right here. My biggest complaint about them is that they don't have the sizes printed anywhere on them. I mean, I would have thought that they're at least on the, the silver, but they're not. Maybe I got a weird one I, or they're all like that. So I use this thing all the time. But the problem with it is that it just has this like little one inch down here, which you can use for a gauge swatch, but it's not great. Whereas this is what was included. This is like, like a heavy duty plastic, I guess. Um, it looks like they worked with a company called Nancy's Knit Max LLC. Of course, I will link that below. So you have all your different sizes from a triple zero all the way up to a 19. Look at how awesome that is. And then five inches here, 
And then I guess we have like centimeters here. So this is fan fantastic you know they always in I, I guess I didn't know this when I signed up for it that they always include something cool but this is what we got this month and I love it this one's still adorable but um this one's like way more functional look this one only goes up to what a 17 and then this one goes even higher very excited so that's cool and then I got something else so I don't know if this is if I like got one of the little freebie exciting things. So I got this Indian Lake Artisans. This is style and comfort. These are a size three, which I use all the time. Um, 32 inch circular made in Michigan. Go Michigan, go blue. I'm from Michigan originally. And these are handcrafted hexagonal. I hope I didn't say that horribly needles. There's so much pressure to say things properly when you're on camera, and I'm like the worst. So these are, oh, I'm pumped. What's going on here? Oh, these are out of Rochester, Michigan. I used to live in Lake Orion, and then I lived in Rochester, and so we are like neighbors. IndianLakeArtisans.com. Okay, so you're about to embark on a totally new and rewarding knitting experience using my hexagonal, hexagonal, God, I'm the worst. Knitting needles, they allow for easy control of needle handling while producing beautiful uniform stitches. They're from an environmentally responsible company dedicated to using local supplies and sustainable resources. North American hardwoods are from sustainable forests in the Great Lakes region of the United States. Um, this is sanded and hand rubbed using um, a completely natural beeswax. Our company is based in Michigan. Great. Really, 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 really excited about this. So these are little, they have um, the little size printed on them. And then a nice, I never knew that there was such a vast difference in cable quality. This one, I mean, look, it was all packaged in there and it's already like loose and floppy. Very, very, very excited. So I will let you know how these turn out. Yeah. Already happy. Here we go. Oh my gosh. They weren't joking when they said nine colors. This is beautiful. And the greatest perk of doing um, neutral is that I just got colors that are seen absolutely nowhere in my current stash. I am so excited. So here we go. There's this. Eye of the Tiger fingering weight, 60 yards per skein, nine colors in all, 550 yards in each kit. Needles, US three to five. Boom. Um, a hand wash and cold water lay flat to dry. Okay, so do you guys want to pull them all out one by one? If you're bored and you want to be done, like, now you know what I got. But let's just go through them all one by one because I want to. No joke, nine separate colors. Okay, so let's start from the lightest. We have this, it's definitely a single ply. So we have this, and then we go, I'm not gonna be able to hold up all nine, but then we have this. These are more different in person than they appear on camera. And then, then we go to this like, what do you call this? Like an ochre yellow-ish, here we go. I'm gonna run out of space here. And then this is next. Beautiful. It's not as red. This thing always pulls really red. Very frustrating. And this is also not orange. It's like a, I guess you would call it like a burnt sienna. Here we go. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then here. I don't know if I would maybe like swap the order of some of these actually. I know that's technically wrong, but here we go. Or maybe like there, there. 
And then we get into the really dark one. So like a true brown. I can't do it. And then um, a darker brown into a, uh, I don't think this is quite black, but it's, it's very close. So let's show them all. You see that? Beautiful. So when I was doing my Follow Your Arrow 2, a lot of the people were doing it in gradients. And I was just, jealous <laughs> honestly I was like oh that looks so good I wish I had something in a gradient so very 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 exciting um honestly never would have picked these colors for myself I never I, you know I have stuff in like maybe just this color or like maybe just this one <laughs> but I no not even not even this I never would have gone neutral and I'm actually really excited that I did so look at that so exciting there you go guys enough talking that is my april 2015 fiberista club package not box anymore um thanks for watching and if you guys have any questions just let me know bye